guitar picks, plectrums. There's so many different types of them around, different sizes, different thicknesses, different materials. How do you know which one to even get started with? Hi there, I'm Owen Vickers from Guitar Mastery Method. We have taught tens of thousands of guitarists all around the world, just like you, to improve their guitar playing and their guitar playing knowledge. First off, let's talk about the different styles of pick. Now, there's the standard style, the tri-tip, the jazz style pick, a thumb pick, and even some which were possibly an experiment that never really caught on. The standard pick is good as an all-rounder. Most people will start out with this style of pick. It's good for acoustic and electric guitar. can even be used on bass guitar. The tri-tip pick, which is quite a big pick, is really good for bass guitar and acoustic guitar. Good thing is when you wear out one corner of it, just flip it around and start using the next corner. The jazz style pick is often the go-to for fast guitar players, especially with electric guitar. A lot of shredders prefer the pointed end and just the size of the jazz. Picks also come in a wide variety of thicknesses. Thinner picks, medium gauge picks, heavy picks, and extra heavy picks. Thin picks are generally up to about 0.6 millimeters thick. Medium gauge picks from about 0.6 to 0.8 millimeters thick. Heavy picks from 0.8 to about 1.5 millimeters thick. And extra heavy picks, anything from 1.5 upwards. Generally they go up to about 3 millimeters, but there are even thicker picks than that available. Picks are also made out of many different materials. There's nylon picks celluloid picks, even metal picks. You can even get ones made out of wood, glass, and many other different materials. So that's all very interesting information, I'm sure, but how does that actually apply to the guitar? Well, a good rule of thumb is that if you're using a pick, and not your thumb, is to use a thinner pick for acoustic and a thicker pick for electric. Now, of course, none of this is set in stone, it's just a recommendation of where to start. Thin picks, because they tend to have a bit more give in them, are better for strumming, because they will not catch the strings on the way down so much. Whereas a thicker pick will get a lot more hit on the string and will be a lot louder, but also can be a lot harder, especially for faster strumming. Different picks and different pick materials can also have a slightly different sound on the guitar. Some will be a little bit brighter, some a little bit duller. When playing the electric guitar, a thin pick can be fine for playing chords. But it can be a little bit difficult when you're playing lead guitar, especially if you're trying to play a little bit quicker because not having the stiffness of a thicker pick can cause the pick to give too much when you're trying to pick fast. And that's why a lot of players like to use the jazz style picks, the thicker picks, especially if they're going to be playing some of the faster runs. And of course the thicker picks can be good for playing rhythm guitar as well. Even with all this information about the different types of picks, different styles of picks, it still comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. What you need to do is get yourself a few different thicknesses of picks, a few different materials, and maybe even a few different shapes of picks, try them out and find out what works best for you. As I said, as a starting point, you can start with a thin to medium pick if you're playing acoustic, playing a lot of chords. On electric guitar, you might want to start with a medium pick and maybe try a heavy pick and just see what works best. It may even work out that the best pick for you is the one that flies the furthest into the audience. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about picks, the different types. Do go out and try as many as you can and find out which one is the best for you.
If you just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, you'll be able to see all of our new lessons as they come out. Find out your number one guitar progress killer. Our free 30 second online quiz will find and fix the biggest roadblock to you becoming a better guitar player. Click the link in the description box down below and get your free custom guitar training. See you in the next lesson.